get ready to discover my fascinating Hyderabad, an important center of Islamic culture and heritage. It is also famous as the former seat of the fabulously wealthy Nizams, reputedly the wealthiest man in the whole world. Hi, I'm Ranjan Day. We find ourselves in the middle of South India, Hyderabad, home of some of the rarest jewels in the whole world, including Jacob's Diamond, one of the largest. Also, we'll go to the market and do some shopping. Watch how they drill holes in the pearl. Visit the famous perfume shops. End the day with a cook-off featuring two wonderful Hyderabad rice dishes. So stay put. The Four Minarets of Charminar is Hyderabad's oldest and most recognizable landmark, built in 1591 by Muhammad Kuli Kutab Shah to celebrate the end of an epidemic in Hyderabad. Weighing 184 and half carats, the oval brilliant diamond of exceptional quality and clarity called Jacob's Diamond was a part of Nizam's jewel. Due to the bad luck associated with this particular diamond, it is said that Nizam hid it in one of his shoes and forgot about it. He rediscovered it again during a spring cleaning of his closet and started using it as a paperweight. The jewels of Nizams of Hyderabad are the tangible proof of the fabled wealth of India. The collection of Nizam jewels is one of the finest and richest treasures of jewelry and ornaments in the world. Hyderabad is the premier center for making holes in the pearl in the world. Pearls are sent from Japan, Australia and other pearl producing countries to set hole in them. It's a very laborious process and can only be done by human hands. Machine seems to crack them easily. Watch how he puts water with his little finger so that the drilling does not overheat and crack the pearls. Amazing, isn't it? Hyderabad is the center of all world perfumes made from flowers, herbs and spices. It is called Ittar. And the scents are created combining different elements and serve to your whims. My favorite creation by the Ittar master was the scent of first rain after summer. Imagine that. We are in Hyderabad, one of the finest hotels, Kakatiya Sheraton. With me is Master Chef Farooq and our executive chef, Mr. Kantwal. And we are going to learn how to make a delicious rice dish. So, chef, why don't you tell us what we're going to do, and I'm going to do it in a quick fashion with some of my spices. Today we are going to make a Hyderabadi biryani. These are the special container which are called lagan. Now he will pour in the oil. I've got my oil already in. He's going to put uh, lime here. I will take half the lamb. Yes, then with this, he is going to add up the brown onion, a teaspoon of salt, then garlic ginger paste, mm -hmm. add yogurt to this, green cardamom, cloves, cinnamon sticks. While he is stirring the lamb, what I am going to do, I am going to take my Bombay saffron rice blend and pour in the spices. While they are preparing to make the rice, I'm going to take half a cup of rice, pour the rice in, add half a cup of milk, 
and half water. Add a little bit of uh, salt, and yeah, once it comes to the yeah. boil, I'm going to turn it down and cover it so that all the juices are sealed in, and turn it down and cook it for 20 minutes, and it will be all ready. Now the uh, water is boiling. Now we will add up to basmati rice to this. Okay. So Only thing, beauty boil. of this thing is that rice should not be fully cooked. See here, now the steam started coming up. No. So now the chef is going to mix the rice together. We have to split it all around. Okay. And then this, this is a little bit ghee. That's the clarified butter. Yeah, clarified butter. Ginger and this is the saffron for flavor. Now this we again cover it with silver foil. Another 10 minutes the biryani will be ready. And it really tells you the flavor of India and Hyderabad.